Behind that basement wall, we hear a sound again, and now it seems to be something sliding along the wall. We put our ear to the wall, oldest colored fiber board with stains that streak from above. Silence. So we give the board a solid slap, but there's barely any sound at all as our hand passes through the startling soft and soggy paneling. More folds away with our withdrawn hand, revealing an unknown room. Grabbing a flashlight, we easily enlarge an entrance, but see no sign of any presence. Only empty space ending on a stone wall with slimy clumps of moss. Entering, a drop of dark liquid falls on our hand with flashlight, and we're having trouble with our footing. Light downward reveals an earthen floor, soft in some places and wet all over. We hop to another spot, but our feet seek deeper, and it takes a while to free ourselves. The spot of light passing slowly across boggy ground continues to find nothing else until falling on a sunken line, maybe six inches wide, running along the paneled wall. Searching for something more, we find indications of another trough, then a smooth, continuous trail. The circle's sharp edge of illumination travels along the shallow path and then freezes where it ends, a dark hole a bit bigger than your fist. Seeing this at the movies should be more disturbing than another show, one in which a soldier tries to make his way safely through a minefield. Although danger may be lacking in the basement, each step now taken there will be fraught with a far more unsettling form of fear. Suspense in a more everyday melodrama comes with a tangible threat, but high anxiety in horrific films has a more discomposing nature, the feeling of lost control and understandings, that awful sense of removal while being enveloped by a malignant environment. And it will always end up the same way, face to face with a monster and that face of emptiness and assault. Back inside that basement room, working up the nerve to inspect that hole, we carefully make our way across soft ground and then crouch and train the light on the open spot. An explosive hiss and burst of head sends us backwards, a stunning blur of something instantly gone back within this hole. Now we can see it well. A cylindrical body with flattened faces, all pasty flesh with bluish veins deep inside. And large jelly eyes lacking any pupil become obscured by a wide whiskered catfish mouth, pulsating with deep bursts of breath. The menace or its mask is a face wiped away and awash with disillusion, an empty void of missing person, and also full of dire warnings and terrible desires. Beginning and end and in between, it's always the same thing. Movies that envelop us in deep and dark dread are always assemblies of the same elements, and we will always see the same story beneath the surface cover stories. Systematic analysis we find the formula, crack its code, and so precisely how it all works, revealing not only what we always see, but how films are best fashioned to make us feel the way we do.